And Gorla, Taoiseach, I have to say quite honestly, I don't think anybody knows what you're saying. Um, what exactly are you talking about in relation to travel? Look, I've said consistently that the government's failure, and indeed the last government's failure, to address the issue of travel has been the biggest single failing in relation to the response to COVID. Now, at no point have we had a coherent and effective system to address the threat posed by inward travel. Insofar as, as my colleague said, this doesn't come in on the wind, it comes in by people travelling on, um, on, on planes and boats. So we've never had a serious attempt to tackle that. And at this point, Taoiseach, you know, people are getting pretty fed up of all the sacrifices they're making. And life is very, very difficult for, for everybody at the moment. And people expect that government will play its part in doing the things that it should be doing, in having proper testing and tracing in place, in ensuring that we have effective uh, restrictions to drive down the virus to a very low level, which we did last summer. And they expect that you deal with the issue of the importation of the virus. And you haven't done any of those adequately. And that's why we're in the situation that we're in now, in a third wave, without any kind of, without any kind of prospect of getting out of that for the foreseeable future. So you're not setting out any pathway. There is no strategy there to deal with that. So Taoiseach, I want to ask you, what exactly are you talking about in relation to restrictions on travel? The question of ho mandatory hotel quarantine is absolutely essential and we should be doing that for everybody. I cannot understand why you won't go with that policy which has proven so successful in other countries that have operated that. You, you just haven't provided any explanation for that. But I want to ask you now, Taoiseach, what do you as Taoiseach understand the term home quarantining to be? We had two of your ministers out, Minister for Health last night, Minister for Foreign Affairs today, with very, very confused understandings of what that term means. So in the context of international travel, what do you mean by the term home quarantining? What are people being expected to do? And whatever about having home quarantining to reduce community cases, like the point is that we're talking about international travel here with the threat of very strong new variants that we really don't know anything about. So what do you mean, Taoiseach, uh, by mandatory home quarantining? How do you see it working? What's the demand or the requirement of somebody who will be sharing accommodation with family or housemates or whatever? How do you see that working and how do you see that being policed? Thank you, Deputy Taoiseach. First of all, I would say to the Deputy that um, I would disagree with your assessments uh, in terms of government responses uh, to the pandemic. I think we've, we're in an unprecedented era uh, of the most draconian measures on people's movements, people's personal liberties that we've ever experienced, and we're in there because of a global pandemic. That's in respect of the level five restrictions we now have on pe people's personal movements. We have guardy checkpoints at airports restricting people, you know, uh, penalising people for being in breach of level five regulations. That's unprecedented, absolutely unprecedented. And in terms of mandatory quarantining, we are going to put in place hotel facilities uh, to uh, facilitate mandatory quarantining for people who come in from, from countries such as South Africa, uh, Brazil, the UK, where, and, and on the advice of the, of, of the chief medical officer, uh, and people would have to mandatorily take a PCR test if they haven't taken one in advance of coming into the country. Uh, that would be an offence not to do that. Uh, and in terms of home quarantining, people would have to stay within their homes. And that would be enforced by Ngardi Shikana and others. Yeah. How, do you police, how do you police someone in their bedroom, Deputy? Just answer that question to me. In, in, in terms of com common sense and practicality around enforcement. That said, the public health advice in respect of specific circumstances and cases will apply to people um, as, as they apply across the board. Um, and I think, that, and there are very clear issues there. Um, and there is a balance to be struck between we getting it right in terms of people's personal freedoms, uh, enforceability, legal enforceability um, and sanctioning 
uh, and we're taking comprehensive legal advice on this as well as um, ensuring that not only do we get the numbers down in terms of travel in here, but that there's an effective quarantining system. And of course the legislation and indeed the regulations that have been passed and for example the removal of short-term um, uh, visa-free travel into the country from a lot of countries, that's already happened, that's already been regulated for. All of that will have an impact on numbers coming into the country and is having an impact already on the numbers uh, coming into the country. And your deputy, you say it's been a consistent failure. Deputies, de deputies from your party have stood up in this house and have criticised the government around the lack of support for airports, the lack of support for airlines, uh, on the basis of our policy of, of, of being so restrictive on foreign travel. You can't have it both ways in that respect. And I've, I've, I've outlined in, in response uh, to the issues, this will be a very, very severe regime uh, in terms of quarantining of people, both in terms of, of, of quarantining in hotels from certain countries where there's a particular concern around importation of the variant, and in terms of, of home quarantining uh, in respect of Irish citizens and people more generally. Again, a follow-up and so on in terms of enforcement. Thank you. I note you haven't Shorto. answered any of the questions I asked you. Uh, your point about, about support for the airlines that is nonsense. Of course you need to support airlines and air, airline workers if you're going to have serious controls on travel. Taoiseach, throughout last year we had uh, advisory to self-isolate. That didn't work. We know that there wasn't any enforcement of that and there wasn't any serious system in place. Then that changed to, um, to restrict your movements. We know there was no policing of that. It didn't work. Then in Christmas week you were advising people to self-quarantine at home and we know how that ended. So none of these things are enforceable. And when I asked you how exactly would quarantining at home work, you didn't answer the question, but you, you talked about people's rights. You talked about not being able to police what goes on in homes. Exactly. That is what we have been saying. This idea of home quarantining is unenforceable. And you have admitted that yourself, Taoiseach. So what are you talking about? You know, you're talking about, you know, you, you mentioned Deputy. personal freedoms. Everybody is paying a huge price in relation to curtailment Thank of you, their Deputy. personal the freedoms. Thank you very what much. you need to do is put a system in place of mandatory hotel quarantining so that we have some prospect right. Thank of people you, being Deputy. able to exercise up, personal freedoms and that we have some element of opening up the country to normality. That can be done with a zero COVID policy. It cannot be done Deputy with Shortall, the confused please, the time is plan up. that you have now. Can we hear the Taoiseach, please? With respect, you're a very late convert to zero COVID um, and you've been seesawing around the place as well from the opposition side. It is true. It is true. And I can point to some of your contributions in relation to that. Uh, and you certainly didn't oppose the lifting of the measures um, at the beginning of, of, of December. You certainly did not oppose them in the door. Through the chair, if I could. However, I have to, I've allowed you to speak. I want to say this in terms of people have adhered, the vast majority of people, the Deputy people, Shortall, the people allow the have to respond, adhered, please? the people have adhered by and large to the restrictions. When you make something illegal, it does have an impact in, ter in terms of people's behaviour, and it has had an impact on people's behaviour. So a lot of people, once you make it a penal provision, take masks for example. I pushed very hard that we would make masks compulsory in pub. Sorry, if I could know, I can't call it, it's constant heckling here from the deputy. But in terms of masks, we were told it wouldn't be enforceable. We were told if we bought it in for public transport, who would enforce it? Bus drivers, Gardaí, all of that kind of stuff. I heard all the programmes about it. It was enforced day one by the people. The people themselves adhere to it. Thank They've you, Tisha. Time is up. And likewise, in terms of this, this will have an impact. Okay. I Thank said the bedroom Tisha. wasn't. And you, de you deliberately, you uh, deliberately please, twisted it then please. in your response. But home quarantining the can be. The time is up. Home quarantining Deputy can be Shortall, please. Uh, uh, more readily enforceable. Please, can we have order? Going into someone's bedroom, and you know that too, Deputy. Thank you, you know very that. much. Now we're going ahead.